record it, use it for to provide an evidence. Maybe when events happen yeah, after the event, as the case might be. But in electric trains, what we are actually doing is that we are protecting the perimeter. At least you guys know the difference between area and perimeter. What is the difference between an area and a perimeter? What is the formula for perimeter? Two pi r in a circle is two pi r. You open the bucket two, open bucket. What in a in in a, in, a, in a rectangular shape device is what? It's two, two open bucket L plus B. Yes. So meaning that if I'm saying the perimeter of this side is the measurement of this here, length and the breadth. The length and the breadth. The total length and breadth here. If I say area is something that covers the whole space. So an electric fence is actually perimeter, pause the video. Yeah. Electric fence, what we are actually protecting is what? The perimeter, the edges of that place. Why is this city? Why are we protecting the area? What's happening inside the place? What do you guys know what I'm saying now? So the major function of an electric fence device is what? Is to protect the perimeter of a given environment. Using an high voltage device. There are different ways you can protect your environment but using an electronically charged high voltage device. So it uses an electronically charged high voltage device. So, oh, yeah. I will not move to the, somebody should be, oh, John, go and move the energizer. I'm not moving to the next thing now. What are the components that you that makes up an electric fence system? Components that makes up an electric fence system. So we are moving to components that make up an electric fence system. So for the sake of those that have not followed us to science, I'll be showing you the major component here. Energizer. Oh wait, the energizer. So, I want to make, tell you the components that makes up an electric system. So, the number one, let me start from inside to outside. Are you guys with me now? Alarm come out of there. Can you bring the alarm as well? There's one alarm. Come down with this chair. But check and see the alarm. The first one we have, where we'll be starting, is this the major machine. We have what we call the energizer. We have the energizer. So, number one, you have what? The energizer. Inside the energizer, we have what we call the battery. The battery is for power back on. Now the energizer. So the battery is for power back on. Let me move screwdriver. Let me move screwdriver. Now I'm bringing the screwdriver so I can bring out the battery for you guys to see. So somebody was asking me a question about programming. Can you see this is what we call the pin? We are using program. Not this one. No matter. So, one of the major advantage of this electric fence wire system over barbed wire is, even when there is no light, at least few of you followed me to the site we went to today, and I told you the story of what happened. When I said what, we'll see that. <laughs> I mean, and he touched the fence wire ah. Ah. for 25 minutes. Look, you can't see the electric. Can you see this the battery? So this battery, if you just buy the electric fence now. Oh This battery can last up to two years. Yes. Still but I'm not saying I can still work it for two days. Two days. Two days. And last up to two days. And there are some design that you can put solar panel to power to charge this battery up. And weather lights available, like as long as there is sun rays like this, the fence will be 
energized. Are you guys with me? Can I move on? So what's the number two component I gave you guys? That's not the number one. Energizer. One is energizer, number two is what? Not battery. Battery. Yes. Yes. And battery is always inside the energizer. So can can you use an energizer without the battery? You can use it though. But anytime light goes off like this, you stop working. And most energizer have a retentive mind. It should be bringing light that there is a fault along the line. Fault, fault. Because most energizer also read the voltage of the battery. Can I move on? We will still deal on each of the components. We'll see later. The number two component we have after energizer, we have what we call the electrical table. This is the electrical table. And you can use either 1 mm or 1.5 mm. You can use 1 mm or 1.5 mm. And we also have some electrical cables that are manufactured by like Nentef, like made only for electric fence purpose. Are you guys with me now? We have some that are manufactured by Nentef instead of using this one, but they are more expensive. That's why we don't normally use it. And in some system, most times it's just only one wire that will go out to your face. Your the other return current will be on hand. Maybe when we get this. Can I move on? How many have I given you now? Two, two. Um, Number three. I'm going to pull the pole. Come on. Pull is here. So you have this pole. I have the electric fence pole. Although later I will talk about different types of pole that we have. We have the four lines. We have the six lines. We have eight line, and in some set of we have what we call the twelve line. Some factory uses that. The first eight will be like this. Then many four will be like this. We have the twelve, 12 lines. We have the straight pole like this. We have the L pole. We have the then we have the single pole. We have the angle pole. Later when we get to pole, I discuss this. One. So, what number? Are we? Number three Four. now. Number. Number four now. Number, number four. four. This is the right Number four, we have what we call the hook. hook. This is the hook. This is the hook. Normally, we normally use hook. What do you know about the way I use my hook now? Where do I put the hook? Is it outside or inside? Let me see. Outside. That's one of the things I'm collecting you guys on. On that yesterday, we did work. When you want to use hook, you put it on the first step, not the inner one. The inner one is meant for the cable. Mm. Yes. This outer one is meant for the cable. Can I move on? The next one after the hook, the next one we have, we have one called the spring. This is spring. After the spring, the next we have we have what we call the high voltage cable. And this high voltage cable is made of a mice. Hello? High voltage cable. Hello? This is high voltage cable. The next, after the high voltage cable, we have what we call the ferrule. Ferrule. This is ferrule. We are getting a good word. F double R E L. That's a lot. F E W R E L. So this ferrule, you normally put it inside your screen. I'll see your screen better later. We have it enter your cable, it enters this, and it comes out like this. We have the cable. Later, I'll tell you the function of the cable. There are some guys that will do some installation they will not use for But you notice that over time, what happened to that cable? The tension will be reduced. Because there is no way you can tie it that will be as firm as using what the cable. I told you that this class is top thing by one. What is it? What is it?
So can I move to the next one? Move on. Yeah. After the Pharaoh, the next we have after the Pharaoh, we have what we call the Azad sign. We have the Azad sign. This is the Azad sign. One of the guys here called the Danger. Danger sign. <laughs> Can I move on? Yes, sir. After the hazard sign, the next we have the alarm. Where's the alarm? Where's my car key? Give me. Come here. What do I do next? Strobe. S T R O B E. Strobe lights. We have the strobe lights. There are strobe lights. We now have two types of strobe lights. We have what we call external high voltage strobe light. That's one we use alongside. When we are doing a practice, you see it. We use it alongside with what? High voltage cable. We use it to connect high voltage cable. And that one is visible up to three kilometers. Yes. The external high voltage strobe light. I want to ask you guys a question. The voltage that goes inside this electric fence wire, is it, I, is it AC or DC? DC. 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 Is DC? DC. So you are like, so how this is so shock? The main reason why it's shocking is that they will now increase the voltage. Instead of 12 volts here, it's now be 500 volts. So instead of the current to be 2 amps, the current might now be 0 0.01 amps. No, a gamble I believe. Yeah, yeah. But the next one, we have the type that we have. We have now, we now have the low voltage. I have that one inside. Here. Yes, we have the external high voltage strobe light. That's why I gave you guys this. I have it probably maybe tomorrow class. We will be holding class tomorrow. Then we now have the low voltage. That one works with only 12 volts. That one is now, you can also use it external or internal. But it works with what? 12 volts. And the major function of that is that one tells you the actual condition of what? Of your battery. The other, the external one will tell you the condition of what? The voltage going across your, or your cable. Why the other one tells you the voltage going across the battery? Can I move on? Mm -hmm. The next one we have after that. We have a white discuss our alarm. Yes. We have different type of alarm. We have different type of alarm. And in front of that alarm, write this one down. We have what we call alarm is measured based on decibel. The higher the decibel, the higher the noise of that alarm. Later we will discuss that more on that one. Next after that one. We have what we call gate contacts. Number 11. We have gate contacts. Especially where you are using swing. Or slide, most especially slide gate. Swing, but I see a way we do swing. But in slide gate, we have something called gate contacts. Maybe I'll buy one later just for the problem. So the moment the gate locks like this, that wire will enter inside it and it form a contact. So even the wire on top of the gate, we also be what energized. But one of the major problems we face in this side of the world is that when the rain is too much and you use gate contact, if you throw that gate, the gate might also what electrocute you. You know there is difference between shock and electrocute. When you are shock, it carries you and leave you down. But when you are electrocute, you die. You know there is one, there is one program I like to do. They used to call it one thousand ways to die. I used to watch it on YouTube. That was very interesting. Can I, can I move on? After the gate contact, we have what we call the GSM module. 
you have the GSM module. Like NEMTEC also have GSM module. The function of that GSM module is that through GSM, through text message or voice, you can interact with your energizer. Nowadays, we now have some devices produced by one of the companies, but they don't pay me, so I'm not telling you. They have what we call Wi-Fi mode nowadays. That after installing your fence, your electric power, through Wi-Fi, you can, uh, can download the app, it will tell you your perimeter. And you know where, what is happening on your fence. Are you guys doing that? Yes, sir. How many have I given you guys? 13. 13. I believe you guys should be okay with the 13. Then we have the switch. There is a port here, you can also put normal switch. If you don't want them to be using... What the the, 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 I'm still coming back to the magnetic key. That switch, you can use it to trip off and trip on your energizer. And I always sign a note of one. That's what we do someone at one side. When you put yeah, off the energizer, what still happens to the energizer? It's still yeah. working, you know? Yes. Because no, don't go and put off this. I'm going to use your hand to touch oh, it. You must ensure the that it's tripping. Out. It's not coming up. And most importantly, disconnect your... I like one person. There's one of my guys that lent to me on that. Engineer Kunle. Every time he's working on engineer, he will carry the battery. And if without battery, it doesn't work. Ah, you have to need yellow. You carry the battery. Take a yellow, yeah. Twelve thousand. Hope you guys are with me. <laughs> so we have the switch, and nowadays they now they have now introduced a device. We have what we call wireless. That one should be number fifteen. We have wireless remote. With wireless remote, you can trip on and trip off. You can trip off and put on your energizer. You can trip off and put on your energizer. And lastly, which is number 16, we have what we call the magnetic key. 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 Magnetic is. Yes, can you also use this one to switch it off and on? There is a magnet inside it, that's why I call it magnetic. You can buy it, but it's expensive. It's not like we use it to energize. You use it to energize the energizer. When we get there, you see how it works. You use it to get there. Uh, light will not go through. Even without removing the batch. Yes, even without removing the battery. But there are some clients. One of the reasons why we advise that you put on remove batteries. Most of the energizer of nowadays, if light goes off. And the moment light comes back like this, it will start off the energizer straight. So whether you have used key to have it or not, I remember one of my ex called me, he was standing on the fence, the man just energized and he, he peed on his body. One of the voltage, one of the high level of voltage. So you guys have question of that. Then after that, for the fence itself, to install this pole, you now need cement, you need sand, and you need gravel. I will not give you an assignment now. Assignment number one. What is N22 ratio in cement mixing? That's the standard that we use. M22. 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 Sorry, M22 to M25 ratio. Cement ratio. Go and find it. So I've missed all those things. I need. Let me now start explaining those things one after one. What's number one? What? At this level, I will do some tests. This is the energizer. This is the what? This is the battery. This is the battery. So this is how I will connect it now. Can you see? I'll connect the black to black. I'll connect the blue, the red, the blue. 
What is the first thing you notice on the Nigeria? Let me dismantle the Nigeria so you can see what's inside the Nigeria. Because you can be asking your gaga, what's inside this Nigeria? See, these are what a pastor. A capacitor has not, they are not meant to be touched. But if you think of, that a guy is just is lying to us, you can touch the capacitor. Don't let me remove it. Can you? Don't let me remove it. Can you see what? These are the two capacitors. The energizer first. The energizer itself, but if I remove it now, I will avoid the warranty. Uh, avoid the warranty. Uh, there is a. Uh, Once you remove this thing now. Okay. Once I remove this thing, I avoid the warranty. Uh, uh, maybe because they are not. They are not saying an energizer you do. You can remove it. The energizer itself has its own alarm. This is the internal alarm. So is the vibration here that it will repeat to the outside world? So this energizer normally, normally you should from an energizer you should draw three wires. One is for art. Can you see? Can you see this sign here? One is for art. The other two are for what? Flowing out and returning current. Flowing out and returning current. So if I have three lines like this, if I have three lines, let's say I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six lines. My this one here will go to what? At this one up here, let me assume that this is the energizer now. This is the energizer. So this also will go towards art. This is the art. The art is always moved together. Did you get some of the Then it will have two lines here. One is red. This red is what? It's for flowing out of current. The current will flow out. And the other one is always black. This is black. It's for current what? To flow in back. The current will flow in back to what? To energizer. So, everything is of this one for art. This one for flowing and this one for. Yes. So, note the art. This art will be connected to this. And will be also what? Connected to this. So, if it's six lines now, out of the six lines, how many lines? Using three, three. three, then the flowing out and in, okay, you should also do what connect them together like this. You jump this to connect to this. So, if I now have number one, two, three, four, five, six, number one will be what out, in, what out. Number two will be what? Give me one more from his head. Sir. Number three will be what? In. Number four will be what? Out. Number five will be what? Out. Number six will be what? Okay. Uh, <laughs> so why did you jump this place? Why not take it? The, the, the two, the art must not connect to the light. If you connect like this, the alarm will trip. The alarm will sound. But if you don't want to undergo this stress, if you don't want to undergo the stress of which one is out, which one is missing, let me still draw my sixth line. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
I will call this guy. But I'm just afraid that they have passed the case today. By Friday, we'll go and fix the Saudi. If you are serious, come to class. Saudi, if you are not serious, don't come to class. You know that we have out and in again, Abi. We have the art, we have out, and what? In. Okay, welcome. Yeah, we have in. If you don't want to give yourself stress, just loop the out and the in together. You know, we have art. Our art is also loop. There are two arts for us that we have already looked to the ground. Yes. In some design, you should put this one, you should connect it to the art of the building, or you store your own art. But if you don't want to be doing the while of history, if there is art in the building, the art is already connected here. So it will automatically connect to, your, to the building. So now, all I need to know is this one, two, three, four, five, six. Number one will be connected to what? Number three. Number three will be connected to what? Number five will be connected to what? Not to So your number five now, let me assume that I want to use my number five for my heart. I will now click it from five now to come to my heart. Number two now, we connect to what? Number four, we connect to what? Your six, you just connect it to straight to what? To the joint end cable. Okay. So you don't need to be tracking your brain. Which one is out? Which one is in? So I don't want to test this energizer. Is this energizer working? Um, I buy a new energizer. I want to test it. I'll first cut the wire like this. And if you want to doubt me, I need somebody that will touch the wire when I'm through. That person no come today, Raga. The person no come today. Okay, Abi. Biggie. 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 Not dark. Not dark. Biggie. Biggie. Can you see the way I'm joining it? I will join. Can you see the way I'm joining it? So I will join the other one also here. My headlamp, can one more time? I don't bring it. I will return this one here. Is this alarm working? Let me check. How do I train you guys how to know whether alarm is working? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I know that I have one alarm that is not working. Mm -hmm. Hey, mm -hmm. yo. Mm -hmm. uh, where are you going to? <laughs> I have one that is not even working. You play this type of body, so the one. Why are you running? So I'll connect it like this. What do you guys notice now? Because you group it is working. Light will come out. Yes. But that this light come out, it doesn't mean that this energizer is working. Mm. Uh, so where is the cover? The next thing I will Biggie, do is you have body out. now. There is one at UK Kawa. There is one. So I'll put this I will now carry my screwdriver behind it. Mark the tail. I say training law one you. The data about the pen. Seven you are more the next time I'm doing, I want to test this energizer, maybe it's working or not. I'll cover it. We are, we are not yet put it on the wire. What's the maximum voltage? The DC, or the DC. Okay, this is the DC. So the next thing I will now do is I will carry my alarm. Lights are cut off. So, if your meter, if the energizer is working, it must flow. 